Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to quickly create a video using FlexClip. Now, FlexClip is a free online service, and the way it works is you log into their site, and registration is free. And then you click Create New. We're going to do that. And on the Create New page, you choose a video template. And the way these templates work is you can scroll over them to hear them. And when you see one that you like, you can click the edit. Let's go down here to this marketing video tutorial and edit it. And this is what it looks like. This is a blank slate. When you start, you'll notice that you have slides here at the bottom. Each one of these slides is an event. And the events can be video or photographs or anything else that you want. And to change the slide, you just click on it. So the first thing you'll probably want to do is to preview the entire production. We're going to preview that. Note that I have my sound turned down so that you can still hear me speak. So you can see that in addition to having a text on the screen, you also have slides. Now before we do anything else, I want to make sure that you know the text can be moved around anywhere on the screen. And if you want to edit the text, you just click on it and you can edit the text. So let's go back to this first slide. And if we play that slide, you notice there's a video behind it. So let's change that video. And to do that, we come over here where it says Add Stock Media. And on Stock Media, we choose Video. And you notice there's a number of different types of video clips here. Let's choose Young Professionals. And on Young Professionals, you can see there's a number of different clips. And if we mouse over and we can see the clip moving. So let's choose this one right here. We're going to use that video. And now that video clip is showing down here. Now the video clip that we chose, we'll play that, is actually 30 seconds long. We don't want it to be 30 seconds, so what we'll do is we'll trim it, which means we'll go over here to the side, and I'm just going to trim it down to about 7 seconds. And click Trim Video, and it's done. So if I want to trim it some more, I can click that, trim it a little bit more. I can trim from either end, I just trim, trim from the back, click Trim Video. Now we probably want to go ahead and change the text, so we just click that. And then you have that on the screen. That's one of the many text templates, and we can change it to this, we can change it to that. And the reason it's coming up with black is but I chose black text color. We could change it to something else, we'll just change it to red so it's readable. Again, I can move these around. You can see that they do different things. Now the one I started with is Highlight, so if I bring that one up, that'll look like that. But what's nice is you can try these until you find one that you like. Like I said earlier, you can resize these just by clicking on the box and dragging it around. You can use the corners to make it larger or smaller or you can put it anywhere on the screen. Now while we're working on this slide, it should be noticed you can come down here and click the record narration. So if you have a microphone connected, you can click and if you want a narration for that screen, you can narrate that. So we'll click preview to see what we've got so far. You see it change from one screen to the next. This is the next screen. And if we click Add Stock Media, we can do the same thing we did before, but if you want to add a photo this time, you can choose, I'll say for example, Business Photo. Come down to the one that you like and choose it, and it'll show up on the screen. And we can preview that one. And notice that even though it's a, a photo, that it does have movement. That's because one of the things that FlexScreen does is use templates that know to add movement to photos. Now the other things you can do is, if you don't like the background music that's playing, you can come up here and click the musical notes. And on the musical notes menu, you can use the scissors to trim the music, or you can use the musical notes to add more music, a different kind of music. So we can come down here to movie trailer music, click that, and then we can play these until we find the one that we like. Let's say we play this one. I like that one, so I'll click use. And now when we preview, it'll have the new music. 
I'm going to click continue editing. Now see, it works that way on all the different clips. You can go in and you can change anything you want. You can type in your name. You can put your logo. You can put in different text down here. You can put different elements in. It's pretty easy to do. It's pretty nice to play with. Now in some cases, you might want to add another slide. To do that, you just click duplicate and then change that slide the way that you want. And once you've done everything that you wanted, you can click export video. And on an export video, you can choose the format, either 480, 720, or 1080p. Generally, I go with 720p for the very first render because I want to see what it looks like. And a lot of times, you'll go back. But as you can see, it's very easy to use. You can actually turn out a really nice video in just a couple of minutes. And because there's so many different project templates, it's easy to choose different types of videos. So anyway, I thought you might be interested in knowing about this. This is FlexClip. You find it at FlexClip.com. It is free to use. It has a large library of videos. It has templates. It has musical tracks that you can use. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.